Where is the war? That's a question a lot of people are asking. All right, Jerry, let's talk about something I think has a lot of people paranoid, the buildup of law enforcement, or as I like to refer to it, an evolution of a relationship between military and law enforcement. Let's face it, we train together, we share tips and tactics, and we're passionate about the same things, protecting this country. Before you give your input, because I know you're dying to, let me say this, the world gets smaller every day, and 50 years ago, we weren't worried about the lone wolf clacking himself off in the middle of a marathon. But guess what? That threat exists right here in our own backyard. And as much as that sucks, and we'll continue to do everything in our power to reverse that existing threat, it's here and it's a great example of the reason that law enforcement and military need to work with each other. From your perspective, how valuable is it working and training with military units? I guess the best way to explain this would be to look at the ways terrorists are operating overseas and the projected way that they plan on working here. The people who are the frontline response to such activity are the police officers. If you look at these active killing scenarios, the amount of carnage and terror expelled grows with each scenario. America needs to know that no matter who the bad guy is, foreign or domestic, there is a serious threat of terrorist activity that occurs here daily. Whether it's a single crazed gunman or a well-planned group attack, the danger is real and it's not going away. Law enforcement needs the ability of handling any size attack from any adversary. This would be hard to explain if it didn't already happen daily across America. There's no question that there's a huge disconnect between civilians and law enforcement. That's my opinion, but I was former military and had nothing but a great experience with the attitude and direction of our relationship. We'll always continue to do great things together, so it should be no surprise that the two organizations align ourselves to look and feel the same. But I can guarantee you one thing, the more secure we make our country, the less law enforcement's gonna have to look like me when I go hit a target overseas. I agree, Dom. We should really look at where the paranoia is stemming from. At a time when our country is threatened with so many obstacles, our politicians are pushing for the strictest gun laws ever. The government needs to understand that this is a time where Americans need to feel safe by protecting themselves. It is not a time when citizens should fear the police turning into a well-trained military unit who are perceived as stormtroopers who are trying to take their guns away. We're getting reps in overseas with equipment that works. Why would we not pass that info on to our police that put themselves in harm's way every single day? Threats are real and the training we do together is invaluable. The more we work like a team, the better off we're all gonna be.